Okay, everybody, this is the good dinner, the down home dinner. The only thing is I couldn't find the cornbread. Couldn't find the cornbread mix. Look at that. That is gonna be so delicious. Moving my foot down in here. Got a whole nother bag of produce. Gonna do a lot of dehydration, maybe a little bit more salsa. The green beans that we're going to waste, so I'm gonna make that with green beans and potatoes. And we're redoing my sister's room. So I'm gonna go up there and show you that in just a minute. So we got a lot of stuff we're doing here. A lot of stuff. I don't know the window. It doesn't seem like it wants to open here. All right, and here's the room that we're getting fixed. I don't think my sister really liked the floor. She didn't realize it was that dark, but that's the old floor. And then this is the new. We got the new wall on that side. That's the color it was. It was like, I don't think you can see the color, but it was like a greenish looking color. And it did have some wallpaper up there. It had like little ivy on it. We've got the old, old ceiling light. And uh, there, now you can see the green better. And so the floor, when she went to get, cause she needed more, when she went to get it, it's like a different color. So I think, I don't know how Home Depot is gonna rectify that. And then um, this is, let me see if I can turn this light on. This was just a standard closet at one time, you know, with just the rail across, but she decided to put, you know, the racks all the way in there with the shelves. I don't know if she got the shelving unit though, but it's kind of crazy here. It's raining. Nobody feels like doing anything. So it's a pretty sturdy rail, I think, I would think. So that's gonna go in there, and I don't know um, what kind of bed she's gonna put in here. And he did put the different kind of board at the bottom there, so. It looks a little better than just a white strip. So this is all the stuff that come out of the one room, or actually almost two rooms. And then we've got this all, watch out Trace, we've got this all tore up. Um, you did that for you, here we go. Yeah. Okay, and then up here, I don't know if you can see part of the, it was like an ivy type border that we're getting rid of that too. And then you can see the darker green uh, that was on there. Um, kind of we're gonna brighten it up it's just gonna be like a like the ceiling here it's just gonna be a, like a eggshell kind of white and then you see the old ceiling fan from 1970 or whatever that was and so we're gonna get that all cleared up the flooring like I said the flooring uh, was a little dark I don't think she anticipated it being that dark so now we've got to match up the old with this flooring we got to cover up the old flooring so now now she's got to match it she got her closet from Closet Mate. Uh, I'm assuming it was at Home Depot, but it, you can see that it gives you all the different option shelves. I think you lose a lot myself. I think you lose a lot because there was a shelf, you know, you could put more shelves, I think, up there to give more, even more storage or even put some shelves if you would have put it on the side here, side shelving, but that's the way she's got it, so. But, uh, and like I said, then now for, we're going to let her paint today. And then she's going to paint the rest white with the drop cloth down for the floor. And then it's very hot and muggy. And I'm like burning up. I feel like I'm in Florida. And so then today for dinner, we're going to, I'm going to make them the grilled chicken. And then we're going to do the green beans with the potatoes uh, and maybe a little corn bread or something. And that's going to be the... And that's going to be the dinner. So I'll check you guys out in a little while. Is anybody else where you live, as the weather seemed to be going kooky? I don't know. Um, it seems like all the dogs in the neighborhood weren't feeling good. Everybody I talked to the dog said that you know, they weren't feeling good. And and I don't know if it's the, this weather and it's just craziness. And, uh, but yeah, this is, this is a good old southern dish. Um... I've eaten my whole life, um, and of course, it's much better if you can actually pick the beans off the vine, which the ones that I planted, I don't think they're going to make it, but of course, you know, when you get them right off the vine and anything that you can get out of the garden, anything off the vine, 
anything fresh out of a garden is going to be better than, you know, anything that you can buy at the store. And, uh, but yeah, it's just a southern staple and you can either make it with like corn bread, corn muffins, uh, flour bread, um, anything like that. And it's really, really good. It's a good, simple, it's a good, simple dinner. A lot of church dinners, you know, you would take it to, uh, picnics, uh, cookouts. A lot of busyness going on here today. A lot of noise. Anyway, um, these aren't too bad of a green bean, though. Not too bad. Um, these are like a... Usually when you would make these down home, you would do what's called a... Um, white half runner and then they have strings and you'd have to pull the strings out but this is just a regular green bean so that's what I had so that's what I'm using and uh, when I'm gonna get this going and hope everybody's having a good a good weekend I can't believe on September you believe that I mean it's just, it's going by so quick I got I was in an accident I got a court date coming up I got I don't know how I'm going to get to that. I got to get to that in another state with everything that's going on. And uh, I don't know. I got to get my, my house down home. I haven't been there in over here because of this virus. I haven't been able to get there. My sister's book signing is coming up next week. And I mean, there's just a lot of stuff going on. So, but let me get this all, let me get this all cleaned up. Get the bag ready for the uh, chicks. They have all the scraps and everything that they that they need. And then I'm going to catch up with you guys um, in a little bit here when I get everything in the pot and get everything going so you can see what's what. Okay, I got my green beans in there. Rinse. And then I just put maybe like, I don't know, a little bit more than a teaspoon of salt and probably a half a cup of uh, corn oil. And uh, there's the chicken strips gonna cook those up and then I just quartered my russet potatoes and those aren't gonna go in right now maybe like an hour let the green beans cook down a little bit and uh, get some of that water out let them start cooking then uh, put the potatoes in on top of maybe add a little bit more oil and a little bit more salt and uh, make the cornbread and uh, I'm gonna get this get these chicken strips let me see if there's anything in the oven um, let me get these chicken strips in a pan, get them defrosted, and get them cooking, and uh, get the cornbread made. I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, as soon as the green beans come to like a boring boil, and then you just turn it down, probably to medium low, and then the chicken, what I did was I just put a chicken bouillon cube in there. And now I'm going to turn it up on high and I'm going to let some of that water evacuate so it's not too salty and that chicken will be done. And then we're just waiting for probably about an hour for them green beans to cook on down. And then we'll throw the potatoes in there. And whatever else they want me to make, salad, whatever, but that's what we got so far. Okay, I threw my potatoes in and I turned the heat back up to, you know, to get it back to a boil. And then I'll let that cook on down, and the potatoes probably will cook before the beans will. And <clears throat> I got my stuff ready for my gravy. I got the juice, so I'm gonna make a little gravy. And then I found some carrots and a piece of celery, so I put it in the chicken to give it more flavor. And I'm just letting that simmer, letting them carrots cook, and letting that stuff just simmer. And now I'm on to. Before I make the gravy, or a little bit of gravy, I think I'm going to, what do I got left here? Oh, you know what? I don't know if I have any cornmeal left, but if I don't, what I'll do is I'll just do a quick jiffy. Let me see if I have any in the pantry. I don't think I do. Um, it might be up in storage. Um, I got a lot of stuff in here, but I don't think I have the jiffy cornbread. You know what? I might not be able to make cornbread if I've got all well, this stuff is in here I might just go ahead and make uh, if I have if I can find the biscuit I might just go ahead and make uh, make the drop biscuits is what I might have to do if I can't find the um, if I can't find the cornmeal so we'll see but anyway the dinner's getting on it's it's progressing and hopefully it won't be too long and like I said you just want that 
you just want to cover those beans oh probably about a good 30 minutes you know with a good warm boil and then go ahead and put your potatoes in there so they can start soaking up that oil and and all that and it's going to be really good and turn it up on high put it up on the high heat until they start to boil again then you can turn it down and go ahead and let it simmer and just let them start cooking because russets will take a little bit longer than a red potato or a Yukon gold and we're just going to let the carrots and the celery kind of cook in there with the chicken and have that going and I just got that on well matter of fact that's a little too high I'm going to turn it I'm going to turn it on very very low to you very hardly can see the flame and then when I get all this together I'll keep on showing you as the dinner progresses. Well, I decided to make, I made the gravy. And so with the juice from the brillion cube that I had put in the, in the chicken, the juice that it made, I poured it in a separate little container. Then I added some chicken broth, you know, chicken broth and made my flour so I could thicken it a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper a little pat of butter you put it on low and then in a separate dish you put your little bit of chicken broth cold and your flour and you just keep doing that until it gets thick and then I add a little dash of cream and then you put it in there and then it makes it see if you can see it it makes it uh, it makes it nice and thick and then if it's a little too salty or if it's a little too thick and people don't like it um, thick like that then you just would add a little bit maybe more cream or a dish of water and uh, like I said we got these are these are boiling away here let me get my spoon um, and they think they might need more chicken so but you can see the potatoes the potatoes are in there and then you're just gonna let that cook down till the water's kind of cooked out of it and a matter of fact I think I'm gonna turn the fire up a little bit more and that's going to be good when that cooks down. And I'm going to add more chicken to that because they think they might need more chicken. Of course, they can only need leftovers too. So that's what we've got going on. I did not find cornmeal. So I think I'm going to have to do maybe just the drop biscuits. Uh, and that'll be just fine too. And it's just this quick, you know. But that's what we've got going on so far. So hopefully I'll be able to sit down a minute once I get this going. And everything starts to simmer. And then I can sit down. And I'll catch you in a few. Okay, the dinner is almost done. You can see the beans have cooked down. And what I did was, because the potatoes cooked, I took the potatoes out and put that in a separate, just so they wouldn't fall apart. I got my uh, the gravy is heating. And then I added more chicken and more carrots uh, to that because they're all starving. And then I just had a little bit of Bisquick left, so I'm just making a few drop biscuits. Not a lot. And, you know, just what I had. So, just about to plate it up. So, it's real easy. It, it's not hard to make. It took maybe a couple hours. Um, so, not too bad. And uh, I hope you guys will try this. The gravy is real easy to make. And uh, the chicken was already made. It was just heating it through, and I just added some, some stuff to it. So... Here's to eating. Okay, there's the dinner done. And it wasn't that hard to make. It didn't take that long. And it's like a Sunday dinner on a Saturday. So bon appetit. Like and subscribe if you like this video. And uh, I'll catch you next time.